Well, Arsenal have revived their interest in Rafinha. You know Rafinha very well. He was at Leeds, snubbed Arsenal and went to Leeds, meaning that their interest is still going on and it's concrete. And we have lot, lots of sources reporting that Barcelona want to sell Rafinha. And uh, we are going to also let you know the reason as to why I think Barcelona want to sell Rafinha because of my thoughts and those are the reports coming in from Spain. Then we are going to talk about William Saliba confirms contract, confirms positive contract talks with Arsenal, meaning that he's soon putting pen to paper and he has given his reason as to why he has chosen to stay at Arsenal. Obviously, the way he's playing, the number of clean sheets they are keeping because even by the weekend they kept another clean sheet and Saliba has been integral into that watertight central defense of Arsenal alongside Gabriel Magales and lastly we are going to talk about Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay is one of those players that is really searching for move and this time around it's not him speaking out it's the lawyer speaking out to the media and denying some allegations outside there that he's close to move to a certain team so welcome to rokani media football how are you guys and where are you watching us from i go by the names of rokan david smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time lower right bottom corner that's the place to be smash the black button that has the word subscribe after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time we upload a video onto our youtube channel and continue subscribing because we have already hit 10,000 subscribers and our journey is simple 20k and every time you subscribe you are making 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 our journey look easier and remember rome was not built in one day and even a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step so little baby steps and a series of them will lead you to really accomplishing that journey of a thousand miles now let's get into this story i was supposed to do it yesterday but I was intervened by the game of Arsenal, but I'm saying today can't pass without me getting this deal, getting this story out of the way. We are told by El Chirungicho that Barcelona are prepared to sell Rafinha, Ferran Torres, and Asun Fati this month if they receive suitable offers. So it shows you that Xavi has gone ahead to evaluate these players and he's 100% wanting to sell them you know <clears throat> i've read i've read i've read a tweet saying that rumor can travel halfway the world before the truth puts on its pants now one will say that it's either a rumor or truth has put on its pants you get one rafinha is a very good player but his, his integration in that Barcelona team has really failed. When you look at him and how he plays, obviously the manager has really gotten to know that he really made a very, mis a very big mistake in signing him. You know why? The manager has started to play Osman Dembele back onto the right attacking midfield or right winger or right forward. And he has shifted Pedri to play as a left forward. Because Rafinha had always been played as a right forward. But this time round, it's Osman Dembele because he's producing some good results and starts for Barcelona. Then Pedri has been inverted into a left forward. He's no longer playing in the midfield. And the midfield is having Javi, sorry, he's having Busquets, Gavi, and, uh, and um, Frankie de Jong. So that is how it's being played at Barcelona. And trust me, if you are Rafinha, you wouldn't love this. But Rafinha has no right to complain about this because the manager who bought him gave him enough playing time to really put himself into the starting lineup and really, and really put a stamp onto that position. But trust me, that's the only time he did. He never at any one time showed as a player that is going to play for Barcelona. However much he loved Barcelona, he's being given a huge salary from Barcelona. But he doesn't. He doesn't match what Xavi really thinks. And I think this is one of the reasons why they want to really get him off of the team of of Barcelona and that's why Arsenal have really gone ahead to make inquiries and obviously there is no way a team like Arsenal would make an inquiry without 
without having information of him being up for sale and the team of Barcelona wanting to sell him. When you look at him in the La Liga, he has played 15 games. He has two goals and two assists. That is really too low for a player whom they bought 60 5 million euros. That is still too low as far as delivery is concerned for a player like Rafinha. And I believe that's why this team really wants to see him off. And obviously, we've gotten another story, another reporter called Tancredi Palmeri. He's telling us that Arsenal have made contact with Barcelona over a move for Rafinha. The Gunners were after the Brazilian in the summer and now see a chance to finally get their man. Obviously, there is a chance for them to get their man because he has failed to really fulfill Xavi's expectations. You know, managers like Xavi are like Pep Guardiola. And obviously, he's a student of Pep Guardiola and he's really using that blue blueprint of Pep Guardiola to run the team of Baka. Pep Guardiola, however profile you are, as a player, if you couldn't do what he wants, he obviously sold you. Thierry Henry was a player they signed for some good money from Arsenal. When Pep Guardiola came in through and he failed to do what he wanted, he saw him off. <laughs> That's it. He sold him. So, look at Ferran Torres. He was sold. Riloy Sen, he was sold at Man City. Look at Gabriel Jesus. He was sold to Arsenal last summer. Zinchenko was sold to Arsenal last summer, not because these players are not good. Raheem Sterling was sold to Chelsea. Not because these players are not good. Their talent is undoubted, but they fail to fit into what the manager wants. That's why he sold them and brought in Erling Haaland. He brought in Julian Alves. He brought in Jack Grealish. You get Calvin Phillips and very many others. That's why he sold these players, because he 100% believes they failed to cope up with the levels of the team that he plays for. And those are the basics that Xavi is wanting, and Xavi is following those criteria. And trust me, Xavi is still talking to, talking to Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola is, is really a person who will go ahead and really advise him as far as managing Barcelona is concerned. But as things stand right now, you can't tell me that Rafinha has really gone ahead to really hit the spot that Barcelona really wanted. Then Sky Sports also came out and really confirmed to us as how Arsenal is monitoring Rafinha. They told us that Arsenal monitoring Rafinha at Barcelona. Modric was not the only forward player Arsenal have been looking at in this window. The club are prepared for an opportunity if it raises. It's thought that... They are keeping an eye on Rafinha's situation at Barcelona. So, Arsenal are really having a concrete interest in this guy. And when you see to it that a club is watching, just know there is something between the agent and the player. They are not satisfied. You see, Rafinha being on the bench is really annoying for him. And he's not going to go out there, as I told you, to mourn and put the blame on anyone else. He's not like Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati is not getting enough playing time. But Rafinha, a chance was given to him and he let it down. He pulled it down. That's it. So that's why Arsenal is looking at the situation because he, they know Rafinha is not happy at a club known as Barcelona. Now we are having Grammy Bailey. He works for the 90-minute football. He has told us that Arsenal have made contact with Barcelona to explore deals for Rafinha and Ferran Torres. 90-minute more understands. Barcelona are known to begin to trim their wage budget to allow them to make further signing. So, this one, Grammy Bailey, is going to hate to include even Ferran Torres. But the main talk point is Rafinha because you get Rafinha into that Arsenal side Trust me, he'll tear it up. He will tear it up because he has already tore it up in the Premier League. And secondly, when you look at Arsenal and um, the current situation of Bukayo Saka, I'm starting to feel, to have a feeling that Bukayo Saka is four or five knocks away from getting an injury. <laughs> That's it. He's four or five knocks from getting an injury. The way he's being knocked down, 
I saw him in the game of Tottenham Hotspur and I felt like, oh, this guy might get an injury. And before that, he had been knocked down in the game of Oxford and really got off the field of play around the 70th minute. And that's why the likes of Emily smith Roy came in through. So it shows you that he's really feeling the pain, but because he is really a very, very, very brave player, he says, I will play with the pain. I believe this guy is having an injury. You get it happened in the game of PSV. Was it away when he also got knocked and walked off? So he has been really getting a series of knocks and he moves off the field. You get even the game of Nottingham Forest at Emirates around the 30th minute he walked out he walked off the field of play because pain was so much and i believe Mikel Arteta is trying to manage the injury of this lad very well and the reason is he has no replacement but if at all rafinha is brought in at arsenal he would have been a better player and if at all they told me that rafinha is 100 million euros i can pay that amount of money why rafinha is a premier league proven player he's a premier league proven player over Mokalo Modric. That's why I told you that if I told our Arsenal, I would have gone in first to accomplish a deal of Yao Felix for Arsenal on loan. And then in the summer, I explore a permanent move for this lad because he offers a lot. He's like Rafinha. Rafinha plays on the left, attacking southern midfield. He can play on the right. You get? He can act as a replacement for, for Martinelli. Bukayo Saka, he can also play as a cam, all in the central midfield. That is Rafinha for you. And I believe this is why Arsenal is all in for him. But there is a story that I've gone ahead to really find here for you. Those are the player salaries of, a, of Barcelona right now. And uh, I want to extend this more to show you why Rafinha. So, if you look at that, if you look at that, these are the weekly player wages insane at Barcelona. De Jong, 560,962 million euros. Sorry, euros, not millions. Busquets, 423,077 euros. Jordi Alba is getting 400,577 euros. Lewandowski is earning 360,577 euros. Ansu Fati is earning 268,269 euros. Dembele, 264,423 euros. Frank Kessie is earning 260,385 euros. Rafinha, the man you're talking about, is earning 240,000. 384 euros and Conde Jules is earning 240,385. Now, when you look at Rafinha, if you are earning this amount of money at the club, you must be productive. You get productivity doesn't mean for him to be directly involved into goals or what, but even if you are a spark to a chance, even if that chance has put you to be a contributor of the third, fifth, or sixth assist that will be counted because you've sparked off the move that has seen the club go ahead and be the score. But if at all you are earning 240,000 pounds, 240,000 million euros a week, and you are not offering service that you're supposed to be offering to the club, in a club that is really having financial constrictions, my brother, they have to sell you. They have to sell you. And I believe Arsenal can really finally get their money either in the general transfer window or in the summer because as it looks, it looks bye-bye for a player known as William, sorry, for a player known as Rafinha. Now, let's go to William Saliba. After winning yesterday against Tottenham Hotspur in the Northland Derby, a place they had gone nine years without winning a game, he went to the media. I think he was talking to BBC, Standard Sport, BBC, one of those, and he confirmed his interest in staying at Arsenal and signing a new contract with the Gunners and Fabrizio Romano went ahead to quote the words of William Saliba in the post or tweet that he put up onto his channel. So he was talking to Standard Sport and he, Saliba told them that I'm so happy here at Arsenal. The club is speaking with my agent and me now and me on new contract. The only thing I can do is focus on my football, but I'm really so happy here. So Saliba's gone ahead to confirm 
positive contract talks with Arsenal and is going to stay. He wants to put pen to paper. And I think there are very few nitty-gritties to be ironed out in this contract. And the most important thing is the amount of money that Saliba wants to be earning at Arsenal. Arsenal want to give Saliba £120,000 a week. For Saliba, he's calling between £150,000 to £200,000 a week. And I believe if at all his contract will be announced, it will be around £150,000 a week to £200,000 a week. Because it makes no sense... For us not to deny Saliba a contract that he deserves that could see him really earn like £600,000 a week, a year, that is close to £80 million. So, if it's £8 million per year, Saliba's value right now is close to £100 million. If at all any team would love to come in here and really sign him, they would have to spend £100 million. So, how would you lose a hundred million pounds for seven million pounds per year? Why don't you give him a year? Why don't you give him a contract of five years with an with an option of one year? Those are six years. That is a total of forty-eight million pounds and save the fifty-two million pounds because Saliba, next two, three, four seasons, he's really going to be worth even one hundred and fifty million pounds because where we are going. Players are really going to turn out expensive. Look at Modric crossing from Shakhtar Donetsk, 100 million euros. How much do you think Saliba could cross for from Arsenal to another team if at all he's tied on a long contract? I believe that's the plan for Arsenal and William Saliba is going to have to confirm this. The talks are really genuine and they are really going on positively for a club known as Arsenal. And Saliba went ahead to tell Simon Collins, he's an Arsenal correspondent for the evening standard that after the summer when i saw the team and the mentality i told myself yeah we can do something this season i'm so happy here he said the club is speaking with my agent and me the only thing i can do is to focus on my football i'm so happy here so saliba is convinced with the team and obviously there is no way he can't be convinced with the team because they're on top of the league eight points clear he's integral he was at Marseille playing, but more, few people noticed him. Few people noticed him that was really coming. For me, what showed me that Saliba is nearly there is when Deschamps, the coach of France national team, started to integrate him into the team and giving him games, calling him. I really got to know that, yeah, now Saliba is really there. When I saw him play for Arsenal in America in the preseason, I saw a beast. I saw a rock into that Arsenal central defense and it was really like a sign of relief because Ben White and Gabriel Magales had already had already had had always been the only two central defense partnership options that they had. That's it. And that meant if Saliba was not meeting the standards, Arsenal had to go ahead and really sign in a central defender for much they are missing one, but at least they got saved by the Saliba inclusion into their team and obviously hit the ground running and that's why we are talking about him here onto the Rokani Media Football. So Saliba has confirmed he's going to put pen to paper, he's talking to the club, the agent is negotiating and obviously he has spoken out and let no one lie to you that William Saliba is not going to stay at Arsenal. Remember he's left with just one year on his contract after the summer. If he hits the summer, he will be left with one year on his contract, and that will mean negotiations being hard. So, what does that mean? It means this lad is here for keeps, and that's good news for Arsenal. That's good news for Arsenal. If you start tying Gabriel Magales because his contract was announced five years until 2027. You tie Saliba until 2027. You tie Saka until 2027. Martinelli until 2027. Odegaard, they are going to improve his contract and look through it. It shows you how Arsenal are really having a very good team. And these players are young. Saliba is only 21. Can you believe it? 21 years of age and is performing at that level. Meaning that the club is really having cream de la cream of players that they're going to go ahead and really rely on. And lastly, let's talk about a man known as Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay has been linked to a move to Inter Milan that Barcelona are really going to make a swap with Korea 
from Inter Milan, but his lawyer has finally come out and been really spoken and given his word. He has told us that exclusive via Fabrizio Romano, Memphis Depay's lawyer Sebastian Ledua, there are no negotiations on going on for Memphis to join Inter. I can deny all these links. It's not a possibility we are discussing. Understand Depay will leave Baka in January as Atleti remain interested. So Fabrizio thinks the player is going to leave. But the lawyer of Memphis Depay has come in through to downplay their negotiations with Inter because this story has always been all over social media for the last two days that the player is being is being linked to Inter Milan and link and their and their and their deal is almost done. They are going to go ahead and bid it do a swap deal. But obviously, as things stand, we've been told that is a total lie by the lawyer. And let's wait and see where he's going. But Fabricio is telling us that it's Atletico Madrid that is really so much close to getting Memphis Depay. And their interest is really concrete and genuine. So guys, thank you very much for watching in through. Tell me what you think about Arsenal reviving their interest in Rafinha. They are monitoring his situation at Barcelona. And if at all it's positive, they might put in money to sign Rafinha. Again, a player that they missed out in the summer. And they are now back at him. Your thoughts on William Saliba confirming the contract talks with him at a club known as Arsenal. And lastly, Memphis Depay's situation. His lawyer saying he's not going to Inter Milan. He is here and they're negotiating deals. So, guys, why not call it a day? Not so. I think I have all the right to say good night to everyone watching this channel. A sign up for now. See you later. As I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the Almighty Lord protect you abundantly. A sign up for now. Bye-bye.